What's up guys? Welcome back to another In Rotation album review. My name is Garrett at Yogurt on Twitter, Y-O-G-R-R-T-T. And uh, this is a review of Oliver Francis's 5th, uh, 6th, 4th, some number of projects. I guess you would call this his first official EP. Uh, so it's a very short project, um, only 5 tracks really. And uh, to get into this track breakdown we got carl edwards featuring baby scumbag or big baby scumbag as track number one track number two we have chernobyl track number three we got ozzy track number four we got space x and uh track number five is the titular track infinity boy and uh to give you some preface on my experience with oliver francis i think i've been listening to him for probably i don't know probably around a year and a half to two years i know i was still working on my old job and uh i i think one of like the first honestly i think it was new year's day was like the first official video that i saw be a new video from him and that's super dope to me because um i don't know it's really cool to see an artist progress and then to see them whether or not they're refining and uh, mastering their own sound or they're adapting into a new sound to make their own uh, either way, it's I just enjoy the grind of watching artists grow and progress and turn into whatever it is that they're going to be or decide that they are or whatever it is. But uh, Oliver Francis is a good um, example of that because I've, I've seen him kind of... Uh, and I've also gone back a lot from finding him. Like When I found him, I thought he was like the voice of God. I thought he literally was changing the game. And to a lot of essence, I think he is, but... I also really enjoy his tracks like Vitamin Water that he, you know, he removed that video completely from his uh, YouTube channel. I don't know if it was had to do with Vitamin Water, uh, the branding, or if that's just not the style of track, but that's him talking about stuff that he may or may not necessarily resonate with as who he identifies as today. And that's, a, that's something that you got to respect if an artist can take a step back and be like, hey, I got big because of these type of songs, but that's not who I am. And to see him kind of abandon the, uh, the style that he really had on uh, his first two mixtapes um, and kind of adapt this really, really melodic, really, really uh, lofty kind of cloudy sounding music but uh all of it has a a message kind of through the melody and the the just the way he's saying the words but the words man and that's this has kind of always been my problem with oliver francis is that he talks about the same thing very much in the same songs or in every song he talks about pretty much the same thing in a different order and a different uh you know delivery and it's kind of a re rinse and repeat of the same style of stuff in my opinion it's always uh clothing line marijuana weed or not weed but you know because uh, i said marijuana i know marijuana is weed but i did I, why do i even call it marijuana i, I fucking smoke so it's not like uh i'm all i'm a fucking narc about that shit but anyways um What's the other? What's the other big one? Women, women. But and you could say that's the same for all rap. But it's the way he does it, and like I don't know if I know enough about Oliver Francis as a person, and maybe it's not my job too, because maybe Oliver Francis as a person is not who Oliver Francis is as an artist. But then it's like, well, bro, if you're going for a certain level of transparency, and that's why you kind of left a style that you were saying was wasn't true to who you are. It was kind of fabricated in a way. Uh, and now this is your true style. Well, let's dive a little deeper. Let's see what's going on. And uh, on Infinity Boy, I don't ever feel like he gets all the way there. But that's not to say because no Oliver Francis track is actually a bad track. There's not even like less than a good track uh, by Oliver Francis. They're all seven sixes, eights, nines to tens, dude. And like that's amazing because there's never really been a track on an album that he's put out, whether it's five uh, five fucking tracks or ten tracks like uh, Chlorine was. Um, that might have been nine, but uh, whether it's that or that, dude, like. I'm never skipping one because they're all very consistently well written. The production is fire and sounds different than most stuff. And his ability to just make good sounding, feel good music is never going to be understated. And all the negatives that I may have just put out there 45 seconds ago, that's not to be discredited 
uh, right, this all the great shit that I'm saying is still staying true, and that's why I still listen to Oliver Francis, and that's why I look at him as a fucking wonderful artist. And this album or EP, while there are tracks that are still, like I was saying, very samey, you have Chernobyl, which I think is one of his best tracks, definitely the best one he's made in a while. Um, very different. The beat is just fucking hard and uh like i said he has this different sound where it's like i don't hard isn't even a really a, a good enough justification or definition for what this guy's music is actually sounding like because it's very futuristic in a way and like cloudy and lofty like i was saying but all the way he uses the drums and it's very much like the atlanta drums still but like the way he uses that in with like these other weird instruments and I don't know exactly what they are and I know he samples a bunch of shit so it may not even be him actually like instrumentaling, instrumentaling, uh, uh, like orchestrating this shit but anyways, uh, Ozzy, Chernobyl, Carl Edwards and then you know that's three out of five so you already have a wonderful album but SpaceX and Infinity Boy they're all great I would say just Chernobyl for me is just to stand out uh, Big Baby Scumbag comes through with a, a verse that uh, while it's jarring at first, it definitely grew on me in the way you can't not have that song without Big Baby Scumbag. So go check out his music because it is fire. I have done that in the past few weeks a little bit more than usual. Um, Oliver Francis, Infinity Boy. Awesome album. Awesome. It's great. But I want to see more from Oliver Francis himself. I've seen him live, and this guy, there's videos on this very channel. Go find those. They may even be over here. But, uh,. And that wasn't me pointing to this. That was me pointing to the sidebar. You know, because I don't know which way it is. But um, Oliver Francis Live is a very interesting, and he sounds really, really good. He's he's a great, great artist. And if he doesn't have a career as an individual, uh, as Oliver Francis, he will be ghostwriting for every fucking major pop star in the game. I guarantee you that. The way this guy can make catchy songs with the production that he is if you just had like on a metro boom and beat and you just had to write a song to that he would get a fat check for it and i know he still has a career in music regardless of the fact that this does not pay off but in my opinion it has and uh infinity boy by oliver francis is just another example of why you should be paying more attention to this guy um let me know what you thought. What did you think? Did you want this to be longer? Did you want this to be shorter? What's your favorite track? Let me know. Follow me on Twitter at YoGurt, Y-O-O-G-R-R-T-T. -T. And at Now in Rotation, you can subscribe to this channel. There will be a review of the Rich Ki the Ki Rich the Kid album that just dropped as well. Uh, that'll be coming in the next day. A uh, new compilation for this month of April is going to be dropping this week as well. So look out for those. Live streams have been happening during the day. If you need some music to listen to, this is the channel to follow. To get that notification, you can hit the little bell. Bell, or you can just punch the bell. I don't give a fuck. But uh, have a great one, guys. Thank you for listening.